like Madurai to Rameshwaram and to Danishkodi. You can see here in the map, you can see this road goes along with this river almost for 100 kilometers along with this river. Okay. So the weather is looking cloudy today, that's good. No hot sun. Whoa. Thank God it didn't slide. I thought the tires would slide, but the suspension, oh, the suspension is working really good, really good. After after setting this to one down. Almost reaching Rameshwaram now. This place is looking so beautiful. <laughs> oh my God. It's it's just ocean everywhere. Everywhere there is snow and it's snow and here is snow and here as well. Just enjoy the view for a while. Just look at the boats there. Look at the boats. Here, just, just look. On the left side, it's the Rameshwaram beach side, I guess. Just look at those boats. So many boats. I need to take a pic. I cannot go without taking a pic here. Feeling like heaven. This place is feeling like heaven. This place is looking seriously good. Seriously good. Just look at this. along with the ocean it's like the beach you are going just on the beach This is 
is heaven. This is heaven. Like how they say, everything is in the earth. Heaven, hell, everything. You have to choose where you want to be, that's it. This is just looking awesome. This is just looking awesome. Standing on the bike, just to, just to feel the breeze. I think this is the end of Ramesh Kodi. So the map is showing uh, it's the last point but still it's showing some way where showing beach point but uh, in the map at least I don't see any road for that. I think we need to walk or something from here. I'll see. looks like whoa it's the last point so this is the u-turn i was talking about this is the last point of tanishkori maybe if you can manage to cross this one you may reach sri lanka also in couple of hours Okay, we found a good parking place. Mm -hmm. So I have to make sure I take all my accessories with me. So off the bike. Coming back from uh, the Dhanush Kodi, the last tip, I showed you the U-turn as well, so uh, that was the last place where we can reach. This place seriously looked like a heaven, like how elders say heaven, hell, everything is in the earth. Just we have to make our choices like where we want to be. It's just like that. It's so simple. We just have to come out of our regular routine things what we do and just we have to explore. We have to see places. We have to learn. That's it. That makes uh, your life fulfilled. Because there are so many places which you are still missing even uh, for that matter even I was missing till now because I just couldn't make my mind to explore them there are so many things to do there are so many places to explore you have to come out of your own comfort zone sometimes uh, own a limited place like in some area some city just being in there and just do nothing just to go around at the same city same place working at the same office every day you come by the same way the same cab if you have the 
same route and you take the same office and you walk into the same bay and you work in the same system and you go to the washroom by the same way you take the same way the same cafeteria the same vendors and and you log out again the same road go back do the same thing again morning wake up come to office same work every day it's the same thing what we are doing so we need to take a break from all that and uh, refresh our mind because your mind will be bugged up seriously bugged up with all that we just need to make your mind that's it we just need to make your mind if you have some wish to do you have to make it nobody is going to force you nobody is going to take you you have to make yourself you have to make your mindset and you 